My brother, I'm responding just for the sake of, I, I saw the video and I was like, interesting takes, but I got to break it down for my audience. All right? I'm not here to sway anybody's vote, but I'm going to ask questions. Voting independent, bro, is going is is a vote for the other side. Number one, I never said I was voting independent. I said I'm not voting for either one. But let's listen. Cause an independent, I mean, come on, bro. It's two. It's it's two 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 candidates. As, as much as you want to say, there's oh, independent, libertarian. There's two. Trump and Kamala. No, though there are two main parties that people tend to go to. There have been instances that. Um, independents have been voting for and it actually swung the vote in favor of one of the major parties or the other. So I, I get that. I get that part of it. If, if, if you don't vote for Kamala, you vote for Trump. If you don't vote for Kamala, you vote for Trump. Same thing you say, if I don't vote for Trump, I vote for Kamala. So that, they kind of cancel each other out because I'm voting the couch. Um, I'm on the mindset, I'm not voting against my best interests. Nobody's offering tangibles. Foundation of Black Americans, but they go to different groups. They go to APAC, they go to DACA, they go to all these other groups and say, hey, we're going to do this for you, specifically for you and your group. Then they come back to people and say, they're not like us. Hit the JP, post some hot sauce, and we're supposed to be cool with that. That don't make sense. That's not a tangible. That's a, basically a, a pat on the head. And I don't like getting pat on the head. Probably this reason. Simple as that, bro. That that that's how it rocks. And Democrats and and it, it, it's less of lesser of evils at this point. And for you to sit and say like you won't vote for ne Kamala or Trump, you vote Republican. Lesser evils. Well, brother, uh, let me ask: Who did Tamir Rice get killed under? Who was the president then? Philando Castillo, my brother in Louisiana was killed a lot of people that got killed were under the democrats obama i'm just saying and furthermore when trump was president how did that negatively affect you as a black man and before getting back you i said man white folk were going ham these white folk never liked any of us i'm of the mindset i don't just lose myself i'd rather have a white person who can't stand me let me know so i don't fool with you i want to know who my white supremacists are Makes me feel better, all right? Knowing I don't have you hand me a cup of coffee or a water bottle, you done did something funky to it and touched your genitalia or, or rubbed it on the ground and said, and touched the top. I wanna know, cause people like that will do nasty things. People like that will undermine you. Every time you do something cool or you do something great at work and they see you do something else like, oh, um, he was on his phone. You saw a notification, you looked at it and you let it go. But they make sense. He was on his phone. He was just going through it and work the day was going by. I like to know. A lot of us, we want to feel comfortable around the white supremacists instead of knowing who they are so we know how to navigate. And I'm not one of those brothers. But continue. Brother, that doesn't make sense. If I don't vote for Trump, does that mean I vote for Kamala? Because that's what you're saying. If you're saying I don't vote for Kamala, that's voting for Trump. Same thing can be said for the inverse, which means they cancel each other out. I'm voting tangibles. I'm a reparationist, a national black American. If it's not gonna benefit my group, if I'm not getting anything for it, you're not getting my vote. I'm not gonna behold this election. All right, respect. Now, if you wanna vote for Kamala, brother, knock yourself out. Those who wanna vote for Trump, knock yourself out. Those are your choices. But me and the rest of the B1 family, foundational black Americans, freedmen, so forth and so on, we're withholding our vote until we get something for it. And we're gonna make them acquiesce to our demands. Peace and black and power.